All right, hello there once again, and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be covering frame blending and pixel motion in After Effects. So here I have this clip here that I have slowed down to 15 frames per second. The clip was originally 30 frames per second. Now it's going um, a lot slower because I uh, slowed down the frames per second. And if we notice, if we zoom in really quickly, we will see that it is actually duplicating the frames. See, it's still at one and then it moves forward. Still one, and then it moves forward. So After Effects, to accommodate with the frames per second being lowered to 15 frames, has actually had to duplicate the clips. But if we play it, Notice that it's a little, it's a little blurry. How could we um, potentially help this clip? Well, one thing you could do is you can actually use the frame blending option right here. And what this does, and I'll play it back first so that you can see. So with frame blending, After Effects takes your first clip and then your next clip that is different and then it tries to create a completely new in-between clip. Notice there's a clip now. Before there was just a duplicate frame. Notice that now there's a clip. After Effects has created a clip with this frame blending mode. Now there's another option you can do here. It's called Pixel Motion and this is going to be a little bit different as well. After Effects here is going to take the first clip and the second clip that is different and in between it's going to mix the clips to create a different kind of blend. So if I zoom out, yeah the pixel motion looks pretty good actually. And if we go back to the original, uh, looks a little choppy. Frame blending mode, uh, a little blurry but the pixel motion here that looks the smoothest to me so these are just some of the things you can do with frame blending and pixel motion uh, decide what works best for you and we will see you on the next tutorial until next time